Alright, what is up guys? DNA Ghost here coming to you with another Well, it's not a live commentary, it's uh it's commentary over some old gameplay and you can see we're jumping right in with a scrake and a flesh pound kill. Uh hitting a couple of perfect headshots with the crossbow there. I'm playing with a group that is largely comprised of viewers from my live stream and some old friends. So Ziddy there right in front of me is a friend. Uh I notice a husk down the hallway and take him out. Those are really pretty high threat to team. They're not really too much trouble for sharpshooters, but they can do a lot of damage if you leave them unchecked. Um, Neo, who I'm also playing with right there, is a friend of mine in real life. There you can see I shoot the husk to stun it, pull out my pistol and kill the crawler, then shoot the husk again going for the headshot. I missed, so I then pulled out my pistol again and used that to finish off the kill instead uh, that does conserve an extra crossbow bolt and those tend to be pretty expensive so we're on wave eight right now I've decided that I'm probably gonna bring you guys basically waves eight through ten and I'm going to cut out the in-between because it's not too much exciting going on there are gonna be lulls in the action you'll notice that usually around a hundred mobs or so excuse my chair creaking in the background I'm just shifting around um, around a hundred or so there's typically a lull in the action and then it tends to pick back up there comes another wave of big stuff so here's a scrake uh, I notice it right away and headshot it and you'll see throughout this game that I will periodically run over to a different location and you can see here I think this is one where no okay well sorry you can on the back side there is also in a Skype call with me and he calls out scrakes that come on the back hallway and so you'll see me make my way over there to kill one pretty frequently I believe this is one yep given the urgency that I run over there so he called out a scrake to me I run back headshot it no problem there's no threat to anyone Saryukin runs the medic class so he tries to keep us all alive uh, and that being said obviously he has a little bit less firepower than most of us so He's got to call out the bigger guys. This game is going pretty smooth for the most part. Tony, or Neo, is learning the game for his first time at this point. This is, I believe, his first 10 wave game. And he's doing pretty well. He's no novice to FPS shooters, that's for sure. So he's, uh, he's picking up on the gameplay well enough, at least. We're coming up on the end of the round here. There is not a lot going on. 20 specimens left or so, but I notice a flesh pound incoming. I get the stun off on the husk, but don't manage to headshot it. Pick off the first headshot, second headshot, clean easy kill, headshot the siren, use the crossbow on the bloat just because it's convenient, get the stun off on the husk again, and headshot again. I probably should have finished that with my pistol, but money was not really too much of a consequence in this game. Pull out the pistol, finish off the gore fast. There are only five left here, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the next wave really quick. Um, oh, okay, here's what happened here. Um, sorry, you can call out a scrake to me and said it was coming up, but I couldn't find it. If he hadn't come toward me, he was going to be heading all the way down the hallway. I managed to make it there just in time to pick off the headshot in the back of his head and end the wave. So I'll see you guys again on number 9. And we're back. So starting off wave 9 here. Get a nice little wave. I'm just trying to pick headshots here. I did miss a couple, but once again, playing on normal difficulty, it's nothing too serious. My team teammates managed to take out a scrake there. And I noticed another flesh pound. I did miss the second headshot, but managed to land the third ad he, as he is charging me. Sorry, having a little bit of trouble speaking this morning. It's a little bit early yet. When you see me pausing in-game, I'm typically doing something else on my stream. Uh, this is gameplay from a live stream, so I'm re-commentating over the top of it. The reason there is no original game audio is because I was also playing music at the time, and uh, I will get copyright claims if I leave the music on my videos, so... I noticed two husks here. Don't actually manage to take out either of them, but my team does a good job. I uh, turn the corner and see a scrake, pick him off in the back of the head. It's really not that difficult of a shot as long as they're walking in a straight line.
you can see that our team is starting to shift around a little bit more. Uh, we're becoming a little bit more mobile because we're gaining strength with our weapons and uh, with each other's play styles. As you progress through a game, it typically gets a little bit easier to play with your teammates. Here I call for mine to back off, but it turns out that they had enough firepower to finish off the Scrake without me, so it wasn't a problem. Normally the only time I get upset about a teammate aggroing a Scrake or a Flesh Pound is if they can't kill it, so I have no problem when it dies. Here two husks pop up, instead of switching to the crossbow I opt to just hip fire with the pistol at where I believe their head would be and uh, I did fire off a few rounds so I can't be certain if I hit the head or not but it seemed like they fell pretty quickly and they didn't cause too much damage so about 60 specimens left in this wave, notice a scrake hopping over the wall, headshot him pretty clean and easy. You do have to predict their head hitboxes just a little bit when they're walking uh, sideways. Here I get another call for a Scrake and a few sirens from my teammate. Sorry, you can at the back, so I come back to help him out. Clear out the hallway and just like that we are back to safe. Another husk really quick. I uh, attempt to kill both of them with my pistol fail on that one so I back around the corner to dodge a shot and Ziddy finishes him off nice little bit of teamwork there notice a Scrake and a Flesh Pound, I kill the Scrake first because it's a one shot kill and I knew I would not have to worry about it after it died then the Flesh Pound comes up I actually miss my second headshot but manage to land the third again headshot another Scrake for good measure pick off a few more trash mobs and now we're on to ten and so commencing the last wave here we are going to have very much so the same setup right off the bat flesh pound comes in the hallway I land both headshots no problem the scrake is walking straight at me as well so once again the headshot is pretty simple another flesh pound comes down the front of the hallway I miss my second headshot but again managed to land the third I can't stress how critical that is. If you do miss your second headshot on flesh pounds, you just have to relax, don't panic, and make sure you land the third. Here I managed to get a headshot at the back of that Scrake's head, the front of that one's head. I pull out my pistol, hit fire to kill the siren that's in front of me, whip out the crossbow, and headshot the third Scrake. That was a pretty quick clear of a pretty large threat to our team, so I think it was very, very... Uh, well, <laughs> I don't want to say well handled because that would sound like I'm being narcissistic, but it was very good to get rid of that threat as quickly as we did. Um, here I just told Neo how to heal me. Once again, I said he was new to the game, so I was telling him, hit five, that's the shortcut to pull out your medic syringe and just use it on me really quick. Anytime there's a lull in the action, it's generally a good idea to heal up any teammates that are within range particularly in the higher difficulties that's going to become more of a priority because you will be taking more damage there is no doubt about it I switched up to playing hard difficulty just recently and we may actually made it all the way through a game through patriarch last night with a few viewers it's a completely different ball game that's for sure here I notice a scrake on the side of this door I do call it out but he takes down the door pretty quickly I managed to headshot him as he's coming across though and there's no problem Hard difficulty definitely spices things up. Uh, all the mobs run more quickly, have more health, and there's less ammo on the map, and there are more mobs per wave, so it pretty much gets harder in every way. Here are two husks. I quickly scope in and headshot one. I miss the second one, but pull out my pistol to finish him off. You can say those quick scoping instincts. I did miss a scrake to my left there, if you notice that coming up the stairs, but my teammates deal with him okay. Um, those are instincts that kind of harken back to my Halo days. Here's a double flesh pound, but I tended to quick scope a lot. I hit two headshots on one, but the second one rages. Unfortunately, I nicked him with my first shot, and now he is running out of control. Very difficult to headshot. They have very uh, sporadic movement patterns sometimes. I should have gotten it here, but I rushed myself and I hit his shoulder, so I quickly recompose myself and hit the next shot. I go for the no scope on the scrake, but Amaris manages to take it out. And here, boom, blind headshot through the smoke. I just aimed at about head level to where I knew husks generally are and took the shot, hoping really only for a stun, but 
any time that you can manage to lock up one of those targets you're going to help out your team here i notice a couple of people are low so i'm going to pull out my syringe like i just said get off as many heals as i can the scrape comes in once again it gets aggroed by my team but they can deal with it we had a short little scare with a couple of clots there but nothing too insane and as you can see everything is winding down um we do end up making it to the patriarch in this game okay so at this point we've put a lot of damage on the patriarch uh, we just finished clearing out some more of the trash and we are preparing for him to approach us again nobody has taken too much damage and everything is going pretty well and all of a sudden boom he just blows up <laughs> he ran right over the pipe bomb of one of our teammates and that was enough to finish him off so there you have it guys another quick end game from a 10 way of normal that I played on my live stream. If you haven't already, please go follow me at twitch.tv slash DNA Ghost 1. Subscribe on YouTube for more gameplays and commentaries. I will be moving up in difficulty as I keep leveling, so be looking forward to uh, more higher level gameplay as well. I'm really interested in this game, I'm really interested in improving, and I can't wait to try out some of the harder difficulties and see how I stack up. So, once again, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Peace.